My name is Wendy Gregg, W-E-N-D-Y-G-R-E-G-G. -G -G. When I first went to the farmhouse, it looked old and run down. The owner of the house bought the land to build a new home on it, but was using the building for storage at the time. It was a cold night the first time at the old farmhouse and when I walked around I noticed a small room at the top of the stairs. I called it the toy room because there was kids toys in it. It piqued my interest because the owner's son informed me that he had seen an apparition of a woman at the top of the stairs one night. It was my hope to see the same woman if possible. I walked around the house in total darkness only using the camera's IR light to see. While in the upper toy room, I would ask questions to see if I could get a response. All of a sudden, my flashlight I was using to try to communicate with had gotten brighter. I then asked for it to make it dim again, and as if on command it did, I went this went on for some time, but did not register on my EMF meter I had with me. I had the feeling that someone or something was trying to interact with me. The room became colder and the air felt different than when I first went into the room. The room felt like the air was charged with a static type of energy. Most of the time you don't know what you have caught until the evidence is reviewed later. I thought that night another light was caught on camera but wasn't seen until reviewed later. A number of EVPs were also caught that night from the upstairs to the basement. I felt that this farmhouse had something going on in it and hoped to reinvestigate again. My hopes were answered and later that next year I returned to the farmhouse again. The owner informed me that she had a number of things going on, such as seeing shadows and hearing voices while in the house. What piqued my interest the most was the toy room and I set up a camera in this room differently this time so the doorway was covered. The first time I was there the toy room was only covered by the handheld camera but not this time. No evidence would be missed if anything happened in the toy room that night. This would be the only way in or out of the room. I double checked the camera. There was no nothing in front of the camera, no cobwebs or bugs to block it from a clear view of the room. While doing an EVP session and asking questions this time, the room appeared to be quiet. After some time in the toy room, I felt that it was quiet enough and went downstairs to check out another room. While on the main floor of the house, I was radioed and asked if I was shining a light through the hole in the ceiling. At that time, I was informed by Denny of a light in the toy room. I turned off the light and again I was radioed, saying the light was gone. At first I believed it was my flashlight, but shortly after turning the light off, I was once again asked by Denny if I was shining the light through the hole again. This time I wasn't, so I informed him that my flashlight was off. I was then requested to go to the toy room to check out this unknown light he was seeing on the DVR system. After arriving back at the toy room, I could see what appeared to be sparkles of light. I was informed that the light was in one spot, but when I turned to see, it would move. I had the feeling that it was playing with me, kind of like hide and seek. It was funny to believe that whatever was on the DVR could only be seen in the IR spectrum. I felt that the sparkles of light was possibly something trying to manifest itself for me but was also afraid to see let me see it fully. I felt that it possibly was a small child but had nothing to back my feelings. 
I felt that whatever it could be was curious of me. I tried to get it to show itself, but it would not manifest itself for me to see it any better. Once another person showed up, the light disappeared shortly after as fast as it appeared. The camera was once again checked, but no cobwebs or bugs were on it or around it. For an old farmhouse, this was one of the cleanest rooms in it. When I informed the owner of the house about the lights I had seen in the toy room, she stated that she too had seen the same thing from time to time. I have an open invitation to return once the new house has been completed, seeing as the old farmhouse was torn down for the new construction. I was informed that they are having activity now while the new one is being built.